Hello everyone! Patch 7.2 added quest lines to unlock the new traits for your artifact, which is obtainable after getting 35 traits in your weapon. While we focus our efforts on Assault in the Broken Shore and the Tomb of Sagaris, we must be careful to guard against other threats as well. We've been getting disturbing reports on the Legion starting or supporting indirect threats to Azeroth. Now while we fight against the Legion, we must keep an eye out for strange objects or intelligence that could give us a clue as to what and where these threats are. We find a mysterious runebound scroll on the corpse of our enemy which confirms our concerns about indirect legion threats. It's time to discuss this with the Council of Six in Daladan. Without you, Azeroth. Come. I think this is a matter best discussed privately. Damn it! Another attack. Stay alert! Upstairs, we find dead demons on the floor and an unconscious concert of Winehouse. She'll be okay though, the demon didn't hang around long enough to finish the job, but the ill tidings that we bear, it only increases the concerns that the council's been having. We have our hands full with the Tomb of Sagaris, which is our top priority, but we must not think the Legion foolish enough to rely on brute force alone. As you can see, the Legion's reach still extends beyond the Broken Shore. Their agents lurk across Azeroth, threatening to subvert our efforts at the tomb. They are some of the Legion's most powerful champions. If the plans of these fiends come to fruition, all our efforts, all our sacrifices, will have been for naught. Much has been asked of you in the course of this war, Champion. I fear even more is needed. We must enlist your help to hunt these targets down. You may be the only one with any chance of stopping them. So what do you say? Up for a challenge? Excellent. I can think of no one better suited to the task. We stand ready to inform you about all known threats. This questline, to my knowledge, is available for Holy Priest, Mistweaver Monk, Restoration Druid, Restoration Shaman, and the Holy Paladin. The Council has uncovered forced orders from the shore, which have a fell influence about them. It orders Blackrook Holt to attack a demonic enclave just south of their walls, and since there's only one enclave that they could be talking about, it's time to go back to Bradensbrook, which is once again under attack by the undead. Mayor Heathrow thought that, after us helping out the first time, things might be handled, but now it feels like an army is attacking them. They could use some more healing at their defense lines, so we heal up a couple of the wounded defenders, and then we make our way to Jared's Shadow Song, who's been busy holding off reinforcements coming from the hold, and he could probably use a hand. Disa, Nethos, Talthos, form ranks! I want that infestation expunged! Erdris? You have been corrupted as well? It saddens me that your eternal slumber has been disturbed. Erdris Forn was a key commander of Lord Ravencrest's forces and is now confusing us for the Legion. He will be a difficult foe to defeat, but first we must stop his squad leaders from forming a focused assault on Bradensbrook. Together, we take on Neffel Starwalker, Disa Trueshaft, Tilfus the Cutter, and we take out a whole bunch of the Risen attackers so that Bradensbrook did it remain safe and we buy ourselves some time to actually go out and find Erdris. An unsettling fell taint, it hangs around the squad leaders, and Jer believes that they were somehow woken later than the other Risen. The reinforcements are streaming out of Blackrook Hold from Hero's Rest, so that's where we go next to see if we can put a stop to the source of these new troops. Call out to your troops, my lord. I will raise them, make them stronger. To me, my troops, I require your strength. Yes, arise. Fight the Legion. My blade is ready. These Rooks Guard are newly risen and may not have fallen fully into corruption. Perhaps they can yet be saved. Shrug off this corruption, my friend. The demons attack my troops before they can recover! Fear not, my lord. I can raise more. That demon must be dealt with, hero. Then we can focus on Erdris. 
Savor this victory while you can. I have studied your tactics, learned your weaknesses. Now, I will raise my own army within Black Rook Hold! Serve well, friend. Erdris must be located. I will scout the hold and send word when it is time to strike. See you soon, champion. The attacks on Bradensbrook, they should relent for now, but we still have Lord Erdris to deal with. Jared will do his best to find him, while we go back to the Kirantor and we inform them about what has happened. They're happy that we have dealt with the immediate threats, and our heroic deeds, they merit more than mere recognition. The council wants to reward our heroism in the face of such darkness with a portion of their power. Light step back and raise your weapon. We will infuse it with a portion of this council's power. Our power manifests. Kirin Valtarel. Amshala. Azakim. Together, we must all lend our strength. The Legion sought to use its agents to subvert our efforts at the Tomb of Sargeras. Thanks to your efforts, they failed. Now, we focus on driving their armies from Azeroth. We will give everything we have and finish this, once and for all. Hi, Lord. Once again you have fought to safeguard Azeroth's future. On behalf of the entire Council, thank you. This is where the story to unlock her trade ends, but Erdris is still out there, and with the Mage Tower build up on the Broker Shore, it's Commander Shadowsong who lets us know that not only he has found Erdris, he's also prepared to face the late lords. Farewell. It is time, my friend. I have located Erdris Thorn in the upper spires of Black Rook Hole, where he plots to raise an undead army. A pair of Bradensbrook's fiercest fighters have insisted on joining our campaign. But even with their help, the battle ahead will be treacherous. Come, hero. Let us put Erdris to rest, once and for all. Your arrival is well-timed. I expect the attack to come at any moment. Before it does, let me urge the two of you to return to Bradensbrook. This doesn't need to be your fight. No way I'm staying behind! The attacks on my town must be stopped! Better to kill him here than have him trampling my crops! Let's be about it, Elf! Lord Ravencrest may be derelict in his duties, but I am not. Soldiers, attack! This is where the true challenge begins, and you actually require a bit of gear and skill with the claws, something that I'm lacking, so unfortunately, I won't be finishing this quest myself. However, we have Holy Palace Sui on YouTube, who have uploaded a video of their kill on this fight, a video which I'll link in the description down below. In the video, you can see that the healing challenge is quite insane, with a lot of stages. It begins with finding the guards at increasing numbers, only to make your way in and find your teammates taken by the Legion. Your resilient spirit is resist the fire all fell magic, leaving it up to you to make your way through a gauntlet and save the team before the five minutes are up and they're actually sacrificed. Then you finally go and confront Erdris himself, only to find yourself without a team again as the fell finally takes them over. You need to keep them alive while also healing spirits, which Erdris tries to raise for his army, until enough spirits are saved and you can finally take on Erdris, who's no cakewalk himself. He will charge you and fill the room with fell, but by keeping everyone alive, you should eventually be able to put Erdris to rest and receive your new artifact skin as a reward. That is how you unlock this specific skin for the artifact, and like I said, if you want to see the fight for yourself, check out the video in the description down below, it's quite amazing to see, I have to admit. And with that, we've reached the end of this video, so thank you very much for watching everyone, subscribe if you like my videos, leave a like if you enjoyed this one, and until next time guys, see ya!